here we are uh, on the uh, small ex navy ship which has been refurbished for passenger usage a powerful but simple boat here we are the musket boat just about to sail away in another 20 minutes nearly 70 hours of sailing uh, upon the Indian Ocean the an experience we are looking up to because the entire maritime civilization of the world originated in this region between India, Oman, Bahrain, the Gulf and that side Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia so this has this region where we are going to navigate has the oldest maritime history that you can think of on this planet because it is in the Indian Ocean that this whole thing began which fueled and uh, stimulated civilizations to come up around the ports of southern India and the Gulf region. Literally almost everything that was done in Oman from being a small tribal sort of uh, desert habitation to what it is today, largely they have been associated with this land for thousands of years. So, it's my pride and privilege to be here as guest of uh, Omani Nation and uh, now we are just about to leave. Today is day 67, 67 days since London going through entire Europe <laughs> because the routes changed because of the war and we had to make a circle around Europe which increased the mileage quite a bit and then uh, going to Central Asia right up to Baku and the Caspian Sea. Uh, we rode along the Black Sea. We rode through the uh, mountain passes of Alps. We rode through the, uh, you know, Turkish uh, <laughs> coast all along for a long uh, ride to Georgia and then to Baku in Central Asia. Since then, we have been in desert regions of Jordan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, UAE and uh, finally Oman. This is my last leg of the international ride. 26 nations we have covered till now, 67 days, 19,336 kilometers till now. And India is awaiting us and the 74 nations have signed up or at least uh, they are on board. Uh, for the safe soil, they've expressed their intent. The remaining are examining the policy. We will get positive results, we are very sure about it, as the policy is not against anybody, any lobby, any industry, but a positive action to regenerate soil. Nobody can be against it, no life, whether you are a worm or an insect or a tree or a bird or a human being, you are with it because for everybody, it matters in a positive way. There is no negativity anywhere. It's fantastic, spectacular response in these 26 nations. The governments have responded very well. Today we had a meeting with the Agriculture Minister of Oman and they are very enthusiastic. They want a partnership which will lead them to regenerate soil in these desert lands which is a lot of work but it can be done. And uh, here we are setting sail to India like old times the churn of the Indian Ocean. We will experience the churn of the Indian Ocean. Hope it doesn't churn our stomachs too much to get everything intestines out into the ocean. <laughs> because uh, I think some of us will have some uh, experience. But anyway, because it's pre-monsoon, winds are already on, there will be substantial roll and yaw of the ship. It will give us a full experience, that's what the crew are telling me. And uh, that is good because uh, I've never really sailed for three days at any time. I have the maximum I've been is about eight hours on a ship. This is the first time three days I'm on the ocean and I'm glad it's Indian Ocean. It's a warm one, but we are not swimming, <laughs> for sure. 
but the breeze is uh, because of monsoon winds, cool breezes are coming already. We look forward to this journey and land in Jamnagar and it'll be very precious for us to step back on the sacred soil of Bharat once again. Let's